Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. So I know you're probably wondering, Kenny, what are you showing me in front of my screen? What is this? And I'm here to explain, right? So this is a deck that's been floating around DB and a lot of the high level testing groups that I've been seeing. And people are talking about playing Sky Striker cards into the Snake Eyes card. Probably something that I think a lot of people know by now. And when I say a lot, I mean like, you know, people who are, you know, fairly competitive but let's go ahead and talk about this deck and i'm gonna give you guys my thoughts uh, on this deck and it's something that you guys should consider or not right so think of this video as kind of like a deck review uh, of this entire deck not really a deck profile right so let's go ahead and talk about the advantages uh, to this deck right so obviously if you guys look at this deck this deck is crazy in terms of all its board breaker cards and all its uh, search cards right we got our sky striker engine our where are thou's and then our droplets our thrusts and you know we're going to be able to break insane boards with this deck right this board is definitely designed to go as fast as possible definitely on your turn one you're going to be getting a huge dopamine rush with all the cards that you're able to resolve in this deck and this deck actually goes so fast in terms of like uh cycling cards and getting a bunch of pluses that you don't even play three snake eyes ash in this build um because you don't want to draw too many normal summons and that sounds crazy right um, because so many cards become redundant over time, right? Like multiple where are thou's, multiple bonfires, uh, so on and so forth, right? So I think this deck has been one of the decks that um, has been uh, surfacing around simply because a lot of people have been talking about how bad the Fire King end board is into a lot of the board breakers uh, combined, right? So the Fire King deck does kind of struggle sometimes when you draw like droplets econ and thrust all together obviously with just one of them you're not cracking any board but a combination of a lot of them um does crack certain boards right and i think going first with this deck it's extremely extremely powerful and i think the sky striker cards have been you know floating around again simply because widow anchor shark cannon are very very powerful shark cannon being able to be a dd crow or also take your opponents literally like in the fire mirror being able to take snake eyes ash oak um promethean princess all these certain cards that help your engine function as well is very powerful same thing with widow anchor being able to take cards instead of destroying them is really good into the fire king decks so the sky striker cards have actually have been have been having some uh very strong usages into the current meta right now let's go ahead and talk about the flaws of this deck even though you know it seems pretty good and very very strong at breaking fire king deck sports number one draw and lockbird if you guys look at this deck where art thou engages magician souls yeah activate joel and lockbird is going to be a uh, pretty damn annoying uh towards this type of deck right now like i said there's been a lot of talks around this meta where people are talking about you know maybe going down on the joel and lockbird count because a lot of people have been building decks to you know beat joel and lockbird so who knows right maybe if joel and lockbird slowly dies down which i really don't think it will uh this deck could have its uh, shining um position into the meta game right but yeah, number one definitely is Droll and Lockbird. Number two is the, uh, our favorite card here is the game two and three. This, you're going to be playing against Anti-Spell Fragrance. Now, I think that's the worst part about Board Breakers. And I really think that's why Anti-Spell should be banned. Is that even if Board Breakers are better by a little bit over Hand Traps, they just lose the Anti-Spell where Hand Traps don't really have that issue, right? And just, you know, it, it, the worst part is when you open like Thrust, Talents, bonfire engage and you just get anti-spelled and you're just like dude this this is awful right um so currently right now let's go ahead and give my deck review on this it's probably not that great but the reason why i actually wanted to show you guys uh, this in particular is because i do want to put this deck known on the map because there are people uh playing it and it's something that i do want to help you guys out on or even though i'm telling you guys probably don't play this but uh, i'm telling you guys if you guys do play something similar to this you guys know how to prepare for this deck um because i do think a lot of people side improperly for this deck so number one is i do think a lot of people including myself i'm just going to give it away is playing designator cross out that's definitely one of the more powerful cards into this meta game and i actually would not side designator against this deck right so i, I do know that most people side in designator kind of like just as an intuition thing without really thinking you know like oh i'm going first i'll just side in designator but I actually think Designator isn't really that good against this deck. You'd rather keep in your Joel and Lockbirds um, and not side them out. Or the Hand Trap, such as Ash Blossom, is really good against this deck, which is very unconventional, right? Because we're all told that, you know, Ash Blossom isn't good against Fire decks. But Ash Blossom is actually good against this deck because of cards like Thrust and Engage, right? So you actually don't want to side those cards out. And yeah, 
Uh, don't sign and designate a cross out, keeping your Ash Blossom, keeping your Jordan Lockwoods. It's a very different signing pattern from how you sign against Fire King, which is why I, you know, I definitely want to make it known. Uh, so yeah, this deck is actually pretty fun, pretty cool. It's something that you guys can also try if you guys uh, want to figure out how to beat it yourselves. Um, but just my recommendation, I probably would not play this deck, um, but I did want to teach you guys uh, how to side against this deck and put this deck on the map uh, for you guys to be more aware if you guys are playing against this deck in uh, future tournaments, right? So that's going to be it for this entire video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll catch you all uh, in the next one.